Hello, my name is Xi Jinji. Uh, I wanted to show you very quickly how to analyze public R sequencing data with IDAP. So uh, we're going to show you how to download AR uh, uniformly processed R sequencing data from um, that is uh, generated by ARCHS4 or DE2 projects, and this can be done directly from IDAP, and also and then prepare this data matrix and. Uh, make a experimental design file uh, in Excel and then load the data back to ADAP for analyze. Um, we'll also discuss briefly how to um, download recons data from NCBI as gene expression omnibus. The main point is that biologists, even without any, doing any programming, can reanalyze um, lots of published data very quickly. Um, because all the data are there, ready to go, and the read counts or gene level summarized data. And also with tools like ADAP, which is, have a lot of pathway data integrated to it, everything can be um, done through a graphical with a user interface. Okay, to get started, we go to um, the ADAP website, and uh, we're going to um, analyze public R and sequence data. And from here, this is, um, and you can use keyword to search, and you can you can search human, mouse, and different even plants from different sources. Um, okay, in here we're gonna do a very generic keyword called mutant, and then we're gonna screw um, to the third page, and uh, I. Uh, browse it a little bit, so we're going to choose this one. Have 13 samples, and the data um, is showing here more detailed data. Uh, showing here, we can see this is a nice, um, very typical experiment. We have two genetic uh, background, two cell lines here, AML2 and AML3, and two treatment, a control treatment, and other a a drug that inhibits um, histone modifiers. Okay, so this is a typical two by two. This is something extra that we're gonna not gonna use, and we're gonna remove it. And then you can download this data. Okay, this data, this the same data set is also available in NCBI. So I typically go take a look at the, um, the NCBI. This page at NCBI, as you can, um, you can even read the paper. And um, but for now, we're going to start um, analyzing this data. As you can see here, um, we have um, thirty-five thousand genes, uh, thirteen samples, and uh, this sample title is pretty long, so we want to. Um, make it shorter and more informative. So I'm going to paste the, the title, transpose it. So I like it this way because uh, everything lined up. And, uh, and then we can uh, start to um, manipulate these this files. And what we're going to do is now, first of all, we get rid of accession numbers. Um, accession number, and, 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 and there's a space in here between the accession number and the title. So everything, I'm going to delete everything before space. As you can see, uh, they're deleted, they're gone. I'm going to remove the replicate, or this is the actual that we, we know. So that is gone. And the OCI, OCI um, is there. So this is pretty good now um, as a sample name. So we're going to copy this and put it back into the file. So again, we're going to paste uh, transpose. So you can see now this guy are transposed. This is our boss. We're going to delete that from here and save uh, this file. It's ready to go. And we're going to delete this guy as well, this samples uh, as well. Now we start to down, uh, to make the experiment design file. So the best way, there are many ways to do that. The best way I found is to just use the text column uh, split in here. So we're going to split by this underscore, as you can see if we do that. 
and this one column becomes three columns. Obviously, we're not using this one column. You, could, uh, you can make this better, and this is a cell line, for example, line. This is treatment, okay? And this is pretty good. Uh, now, and then we want to transpose um, it back to this orientation, and we're good to go. Um, we save this as a design file. A design file. I want to save it to a downloads design file CSV file. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. Go back to Adapt website and um, recounts, and then we're gonna load the expression data. Okay, and then load the um, design file. Okay, the loading is done. As you can see, um, sometimes people get error messages when these sample names are the match between these two. Um, so I always copy sample names from one file and paste, paste it to another file. Okay, so we're ready to go in terms of analysis. Uh, and you can see we can um, see if there's any outliers in recounts. The maps, so we're going to jump directly to uh, adapt a uh, differential express. Okay, by default, um, it runs um, group by group. For example, we have four groups, so um, all the six kind of comparisons was done. In this case, we know there are two factors, so we better use the uh, um, factorial design. We have line, and we can choose which one. Um, is the reference okay and uh, we can uh, look at the interaction term here and treatment this is what de determines um, what makes more sense uh, so we're gonna, this is control this is good and okay it's done um, and then we can click close and this is the number of different so expressed genes this seems quite a lot of them uh, these genes if it is big you can feel free to adjust this criteria, this criteria and this is our model um, this is our model and in DG2 tab you can um, examine um, the uh, each of the contracts contrast for example here is for the control without treatment the difference between AML2 and AML3 and um, this is the a difference between treatment versus control in the reference level of the cell line, which is ML3 in this case. And uh, you can see there's a lot of different uh, expert genes um, between uh, induced by the treatment. And um, this is the interaction term shows you the unique response by ML2 to the treatment, very different from as you could see, these genes are upregulated uniquely in a new, unique way in response to this treatment. Okay, these genes are not up in ML3, not much. Okay, so um, so this is the result. You can see this uh, these guys, and also you can check. Um, there's a lot of these categories here, um, but um, if you're in interested in the gene regulation. Um, mechanisms you can check the transcription factor target genes um, and um, and macroRNA target genes. It might take a while, but you can use the all available gene set to test uh, to take a rough quick. Okay, this is about it. And um, and lastly, a lot of gene expression data, RNA sequence data. These others when they upload raw data. Raw raised data. They also have read counts data. For example, this um, this is available here. And sometimes, if the data is very new, they're not included in either ERCHS4 or DE2. So, um, in this case, um, we can also um, download this data from here and extract. Um, and um, the data is here. As you could see, um, and and uh, we can open this file in Excel. Um, I'm 
some all files and click here. And this data says this file is a little bit weird. So if you use tab, delete me some um, separate some column but not others. Um, so space you can see separate pretty good. So um, so this is um, this is the file that we got from NCBI. As you can see, this is a recount data and uh, there's two uh, gene ident identifiers um, you can use either one I uh, cannot have uh, both probably I would just use the and um, use the um, reference sequence gene ID but pay attention to these guys I don't think app will recognize this if you have underscores in there um, but the rest is the same you can um, copy this and uh, and start um, making the um, experiment design file as we showed you um, earlier. So one last thing. So as you can see, we have for this particular data set, uh, we have um, also have data from um, from NCBI, and we have we're using H in, uh, we also have data from DE2. I did did notice that um, the recounts are very different at least for the one gene that I examined for a shorter gene so these uniformly processed data they might use in slightly different pipeline uh, so the reference genome might be a bit different okay just pay attention to that um, but the but it's very easy to do as you could see I, I done this in 15 uh, minutes and um, and I would encourage our users not only analyze your own data, but analyze some other's data and see um, maybe you can make some new discoveries or sometimes uh, prove that the other people that did the initial analysis uh, doesn't do things correctly as well. Um, all right, thank you.